Hey everyone, it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and it is stretch the sketch time. So we have a super fun sketch because it was drawn by our friend MK. So I'm sure she's going to be playing along this month. Um, so the idea is we take a 12 by 12 sketch, we shrink it, we stretch it, any size other than 12 by 12. So I am going to be working in my traveler's notebook and I am going to do a double page spread. So my traveler's notebook, each page is about, I think it's like five by eight and a quarter or so. Um, and so I guess my page is like 10 by eight and a quarter. Um, so that's kind of what I'm shrinking it down to. So I have three photos. Um, it calls for four and square photos, but, um, I can't make these photos into squares. I guess I could, um, but then they'd be even more, they'd be even tinier. So I really am not sure of my placement, um, because the two on the right side go together, but I'm trying to do it like chronologically and chronologically the, um, the portrait photo, no, the landscape photo should be on top because that one came first. So what I decided to do was it looks like all four of those photos in the sketch are matted on a piece of paper. So I am going to do that illusion spread across two pages with this black and I am going to put them on and immediately realize that, oh, I didn't number one, put them in the orientation I thought I was going to. Um, oh wait, no, I did. I did it right. I swear I peel them off though. Oh, I peel them off because there are some strips of what look like paper or border strips or something that go um, in between the photos. So I wanted to lay those down. I was like, I know I ripped it off because I tore the paper and then I had to flip over the paper um, to and put the torn side down or so I thought and then I put adhesive on it so good news is I had put the the photos on correctly so they'll just go right on top so I went through my scraps which I haven't been doing hardly and pulled out a couple of pieces this black and white strip this kind of craft polka dot and then these rulers so I decide I'm going to do three strips, starting with the ruler, because I think it's kind of fun um, to kind of go with the theme of this traveler's notebook, which is the building of a house. And so the first side is a picture of my husband putting in the sign with the numbers for the lot. And... Maybe that is not like super important, but I decided, so we had to make a sign so that people knew the address of, of the lot. So we had to put the numbers up there. So he said, put the numbers on a board. So of course I'm like, oh, fun. So I have this cute little like picket fence sign painted it white and then I was going to put the numbers on it well first with my Cricut I cut out a stencil and then I painted the numbers well then it bled so then I had to repaint it white and then I decided you know what I can just freehand this oh mm, nope I can't do that so messed that up so painted it again so what I ended up finally doing was what I had cut out um, 
to make the stencil, I used those black numbers and I mod podged it on there. And Christopher was like, you could have just taken a piece of plywood and then with some spray paint wrote the numbers. That's what I would have done. I'm like, well, that's not cute, right? Like, it needs to be cute. So that being said, that is why I decided to scrapbook this because I was a little crafty with the numbers and I had trouble with it. So I put that on. So in the sketch, it looks like there is a uh, tag. So I found, so all of these pieces, which I'm kind of excited about, are from my like little leftover bins. And so I cut that tag and then I cut it short. So that's why I ended up having to stick it behind the black area. But that's okay. I think it works out just as good there. So I have that little tag up there for the date. It says, let's go on an adventure. I have um, a couple of pieces of foil foliage and um, a flower. Now in the sketch, there's all these hexagons in the background. And what I really thought would be fun was to take a bunch of alphas and just put numbers all behind it. So you see I have all of these alphas pulled out and I decide to start with the actual house numbers. And then I realize, you know what? There's really not a, room, a lot of room to put all of these numbers. So I'm gonna go with the house numbers, a little geotag and a little bracket and that's it. So there are no hexagons on the back of this. It is just going to have to deal with the, the plainness of the back. And I like how this turned out. I will add some twine in my tag so it is not naked. And then I do have a, a couple of close-ups for you. I will go ahead and put this in my... Um, traveler's notebook now that it's done but it's much easier to photograph without it so remember to wear your crown and we'll see you next month make sure you check out below